Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to set up an unstoppable domain to simplify your cryptocurrency sending addresses. So let's get started. All right, so I'm here on the homepage of Unstoppable Domains. Uh, now, an unstoppable domain is similar to a .com or a .org but it's on a blockchain. So it's a blockchain based system, a decentralized system where you can stake out uh, like domain names, right? Uh, in my case today, I'm going to show you how I set up my own domain, uh, my own blockchain domain for CryptoDad.Crypto. So it's gonna make it easier for people to send me crypto and I'm all for that, right? So uh, you can find out more on their website. I'll leave a link down in the description. So the first thing you want to do is get yourself signed up, right? And it's basically just signing up for Facebook or Twitter. Just uh, give them your email address and set a password and you've got yourself an account. And uh, once you've got an account, you can look for a domain that you might be interested in. So I'm going to go ahead and get myself signed into my account. All right, and so you can see over here on the uh, left side hamburger menu that I'm signed into my account, right? And uh, you can search for a new domain. So we can hit that and just search for something that you find interesting. Uh, you know, like you might be a gardener or a tomato grower or something like that. And we could search that. And there we go. Uh, I've got tomatogrower.crypto or tomatogrower.zil. And uh, you can purchase these. Uh, depending on, you know, the dot crypto domain is a little more expensive, it's 40 bucks per uh, crypto domain. Uh, and there'll be a link down in the description if you're interested in uh, purchasing one yourself. All right, and when you check out on these, uh, there's a lot of ways to pay out. And you've got a uh, card, PayPal, and of course, one of my personal favorites, uh, pay by crypto. Right, you can uh, pay by crypto. Let's see what they've got here. All right, cool. They've got a lot of uh, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum. So you can pay with a variety of different cryptocurrencies directly. That's pretty cool. You can also pay with the crypto.com app using the crypto pay feature, which I really like. All right, so you got a lot of different ways to pay. All right, and so once you've got your domain uh, and you've bought it, you'll sh you'll see it in your list of domains, right? When you go over to My Domains, and uh, as you can see, I've got my CryptoDad.Crypto. Now, before I can actually claim that, I need to connect some wallets to this. Once you have your unstoppable domain set up, then you'll need to link it to your wallet. You'll need to add your wallet to your uh, unstoppable domain. So uh, I'm going to use the uh, Coinbase wallet today, the mobile wallet. All right, so I'm just gonna launch my Coinbase wallet. All right, so as you can see, I've got a little bit of Ethereum in this wallet. So we'll start with my Ethereum address. I'm gonna put a little Bitcoin in here as well. Uh, so, but first thing we'll need to do is go over to the browser, right? And then when we get to the browser, we'll wanna go up to Google and look for our unstoppable domain. Right, and uh, we're basically just logging into the unstoppable domain account using uh, the web browser built into the Coinbase wallet. All right, uh, so I've got myself logged in. Uh, here's my account settings. I need to go over there to account settings and then choose add wallet. All right, and I'll use the web three to connect. Okay, enter a confirmation code to continue. Okay. So uh, I'll uh, send that confirmation code to my email, which should come into my Gmail here shortly. All right, I'll just uh, open up that Gmail and uh, there's my code. Let's see if I can cut and paste it. It would be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> All right, let's go back over here. I'll paste that code in. There we go. Now it wants me to sign the request. All right, I'll hit sign. And so there you go. I've uh, added that uh, wallet to my Unstoppable Domains account. All right, so now that I've done that, I can go over to My Domains. And I'm going to claim that domain. All right, there's my uh, the CryptoDad.Crypto. So I'll hit Claim there. 
Okay, it's <laughs> starting. Well, I need another code from the email. We'll get that going. All right, we'll uh, get that code. Here's the latest code, which we'll copy into our clipboard, slide back over to uh, Unstoppable Domains. I'll paste that guy in there. All right, and there we go. Connect to Ethereum Web3 wallet to claim your domains. I'll hit Access. I'm going to understand that and hit Confirm. There's my domain. And my domains are now being deployed on the blockchain and into my wallet. This transaction is being executed on the Ethereum blockchain and gives you ownership over your domains. All right, and uh, I'll just wait and see how uh, long that takes. All right, so let's check up on our uh, progress here. Let's go back into our Coinbase wallet. Yeah, so I basically I just went back to the account settings and flipped back over to the My Domains in the wallet interface on the Coinbase wallet, and it's showing up there as Manage, right? Oh, okay, so here we go in this. Uh, so I think you could you could do it from here or you could do it from the website once you've got the domain claimed, right? But I'll go ahead and do it from here. Uh, let's do the Bitcoin. Uh, I've got a Bitcoin address here. I'll hit receive and I'll uh, copy that address into my clipboard. I'll just copy that into my clipboard, right? And then I'll go back over here and I'll just paste it in. And there we go, we'll hit done. And then I'll do the same for the Ethereum wallet. So I'll go back over here. Uh, we'll go to the Ethereum wallet. We'll do receive. And I'll copy that address into my clipboard. And then I'll go back to the web interface. And I'll just paste that guy in there. We'll hit done. And I think I'm done, right? Oh, save changes. Okay, so I'm just going to roll back up. All right. That looks good. All right, they want me to sign this. Okay, so I'm gonna hit sign. Uh, my face ID worked with that. So what I'll do here is I'll wait for this to take and then I'll check from the website just to make sure that it's been updated across, you know, the cloud and whatever, just so I'll have a good idea that. And then we'll send some uh, crypto to either of those addresses using my uh, cryptodad.crypto. All right, so that's cool. I'll just hang out, wait for this. And then the trick is uh, I'm going to get a wallet set up to where I can actually send some Bitcoin and, and or Ethereum using my unstoppable domain rather than the Bitcoin address, right? That's going to be the trick that we'll do here at the end. It'll be fun. All right, so I'm in Trust Wallet, and uh, I'll just go to the Ethereum. And I'll click send. And then let's see what happens if I type the. Oh, see, it likes that. That's pretty cool. All right, and the max amount is 31. So maybe I'll just send 0 0.02. Yeah, just a little test transaction, right? We'll hit done. And then uh, we'll hit next. And we're all ready to go, right? We're sending to the CryptoDad.Crypto from a supporting wallet, which is Trust Wallet. So I'll hit Send. And then uh, we'll see what happens, right? I'm not risking a whole lot. All right, so I sent the ETH out. That's pretty cool. Now uh, let's check the uh, Coinbase wallet and see if uh, the ETH came in. Well, looky there. Uh, looks like the ETH did come in to this wallet based on that uh, domain name, which I claim. So that's cool as heck. All right, so I got the Bitcoin in the uh, Trust Wallet there. You can see it's not a whole lot, but it's enough for our little, it's enough for our little test, right? Uh, so let's send the Bitcoin from Trust Wallet using the uh, Unstoppable Domain, right? My Crypto Dad Unstoppable Domain, right? So let's do uh, the... Crypto dad at, whoops, not at, <laughs> dot crypto, right? It likes that, the crypto dad dot crypto. Of course, 
just like with uh, Bitcoin addresses, you want to make sure you don't typo on these, right? You don't want to send it uh, to the wrong domain, right? So you still have to be careful, but it's much easier to type a meaningful name like this, you know, uh, than it is a Bitcoin address. And I can just glance at it and see that it's typed correctly, right? So, uh, and I'll just max it out because there's not a lot of Bitcoin in this wallet, but that's fine. We'll hit done. We'll hit next and send and uh, we'll send out that Bitcoin and then we'll see what happens uh, over in the Coinbase wallet. All right, and lo and behold, the uh, Bitcoin arrived in my wallet. As you remember, we claimed our crypto domain. Yeah, I bought it, I paid for it. And uh, then I claimed it on the Ethereum blockchain uh, by using the Coinbase wallet, right? And once I had done that, I was able to link the Bitcoin address and the Ethereum address of my Coinbase wallet to my unstoppable the crypto dad dot crypto domain. And then I was able to send some Ethereum and some Bitcoin from a uh, wallet that supported this function, right? So I was able to go over to Trust Wallet and actually do the sends. Uh, so I don't know how everything works under the hood, but all I know is I was able to type in my uh, crypto dad domain uh, in the send field rather than uh, the uh, cryptocurrency address. Uh, so that's really cool. And I'm, I'm pretty excited about this. I'll probably set it up with more of my wallets and uh, follow up with some more videos. So if you guys have any questions about anything I did, please throw them up in the comments and I'll do my best to get them answered. Don't forget I do a live stream every Saturday night, 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Please join me for the live Q&A from Michigan where you can throw out questions and I'll do my best to get them answered. Hope to see you there. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that you can click that will allow you to be alerted whenever I post new content. Once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.